You guys like Battlesuit type characters? Well, you might like this guy. John Henry Irons, known as Steel. How strong is he? Well, let's check him out. John lost his parents when he was young. He felt the only way to protect his family was to become rich and powerful. Kind of made sense. He went to Yale on a sports scholarships and etc. He was a ballistics expert. He enjoyed wealth, being successful, designing high-tech weapons and all that kind of stuff. Kind of similar to Iron Man type stuff. His weapons prototypes were leaked to a terrorist. A firefight ended up happening. Left many innocent people dead. He couldn't stand the sight of all those dead people from his kind of from his hands. People using his weapon for bad. He destroyed all the remaining prototypes and attempted to delete all the information. There was this one time his co-worker fell. Henry tried to save him, only to then fall and plummet towards his own death. Luckily, the Man of Steel, Superman himself, saved him. Henry felt like he owed Superman his life, and Superman replied by telling him, you should make it do, you should make it count for something. That's when the events of Doomsday happened. Doomsday and Superman, the death of Superman. He tried to reach him, but he couldn't reach him because he was under a building. Then a few weeks later, his weapons were used by gangs on the street under the name Toastmasters. He said, forget this, I'm taking action to my own hand. That's when he forged a suit of armor, flight boots, and, com and completed a look with an S emblem and cape. Because of Superman's death, he tried to feel his loss by Metropolis by taking on the Man of Steel persona, a high-tech suit of armor. When Superman became alive later, though, he became known as Steel. But before I go any farther, thank you all so much that I've donated to the channel. Really helps out a lot. You can really tell how good he is. He designed some very strong guns. Like, he sees all his deaths, all his fault. Like I just said, he crafted the prototype armor. You can literally see the hard work and dedication right here by, based on his calculations, mask, and everything. Like, you see how it looks? Prototype. He even forges the armor in the basement, reforged, you see? Gets better as time goes by. Hammer, hammer. It's so interesting how he thinks of hacking, kind of showing his intelligence. He deducts that usually the passwords, personal date, little research, got me those, anniversary, birthday, daughter's birthday, and he's in. <laughs> hacking, you know, makes it simple. Nice cape. Somebody tried to overload his suit with this net. All he had to do was turn the suit off and just hit him the old-fashioned way. Literally built an antimatter gun. Literally got gear for days. Talk about being battle ready. You can get an idea of his blasting, blasting up an underground place, or one could say blasting up a lab. He creates a suit like with prep time, a special suit made for plasmas. It endures his deadly touch and was set to inject liquid nitrogen back to his head to counter him. If you're a weird opponent that usually can't fight normally, he can make prep gear. He even took the mother box, for example, operated as his own telepathic shield, for example, like a Martian Manhunter. They go Flash, Big Barter, stuff like that. He's forever adapting technology from different stuff. This guy literally turned the entire watchtower into his armor. You can literally see it. To even test his gear even further, he even tests non-lethal weapons on the Man of Steel himself. Gear, for example, just to see how they really stack up. As such, Sonic Disruptor for beings like Superman that has great super hearing, stuff like that. Makes him having balances and everything. It was like a friendly test run, as you can see. He even says, thanks for testing my limits of these non-lethal prototypes. They even give him props. It didn't take him long to uh, bust through Henry, Henry's weapons, but at the same time, Henry doesn't face as many people with as much power, they say. So Superman should be able to do this, but some people lower than Superman would get messed up by this. And he has special suits that he created, like an Aquanaut suit of armor that is good for deep sea diving. So that's kind of cool. Doesn't it look cool, that design? It was stated, Steel has built some of the most complex machines and devices in human history. He made Nat an anti-ion blowback equalizer, making other people gear they, they can use in the heat of battle. He's actually had different armors over the years. The very first armor he tried to use to fill Superman's void was destroyed by Superboy in this particular occasion. And the hammer got destroyed the same way or Green Lantern used it against Mongo for example. Without the suit, you gotta get an idea of his physicals. Like a lot of, for some reason, humans in DC or Marvel had pretty good strength for some reason. Dents a car by throwing a bag that hard, picks some people up with one arm, takes a punch from somebody that's superhuman. The guy that he got punched by was literally strong enough to tear somebody apart. He's able to survive a hit from this same being. This same guy, like what? He's fighting a superhuman guy without getting ripped apart, but when the other guy got ripped apart. Like, this dude ain't normal. He's fast enough to react by blocking shots with a table, then goes forward to use it as a battering ram, beats up some armored up goons with a literal pan. More destruction. Look, look, picks this up, hits him with it like that, these big people. He's smart enough to dodge stuff in combat. Combat feet with the same guy, goes straight for the legs, takes him to the ground. In a fit of rage, this is what he does to the kitchen, guys. Normal human? I think not. Let all of this in, like the literal fridge, like you know how heavy fridges are? Uh, Just because he was mad. Even stated he has enough willpower to use a Green Lantern ring. Let that sink in. That Aqua moment when he fought against Super Luther. He got burned, impaled by the hammer. Was no match for him. But that's understandable, of course. Ha. <laughs> got 
to love it still with no armor but yeah he did get different armors over the years back to the armors this is how the second armor looked and this is how his third armor looked this model was different because it offered a reduction in physical strength for the trade-off for it having more maneuverability and sleekness aka speed so he'd rather lose the strength for the speed and maneuverability it's cool he even made a suit after this he made it from scratch after all the old ones were ruined by brainiac and etc thank you brainiac with alien material he designed it to be more powerful than the last ones and for example hurting atlas here but i'm gonna go back to these feats of this armor later then later he got this armor known as entropy aegis it was armor first designed by dark side from the remains of an imperiax probe fused with apocalyptic technology superman actually declined this outfit because he got offered it against imperiax but iron said why not i'm the battle suit guy so i'm gonna get it but the catch the armor has limited extent sentient and became blinded with iron soul pointing them in a symbiotic relationship Aegis has even protected the irons from death before and then the other project is when he literally became like stainless steel so there was a point where he didn't actually have need of a suit he actually legit had superpower even though this is temporary everybody say it with me <gasps> temporary Ugh. wouldn't it be cool if he could just summon this suit around his body all the time you know what this was the everyman project but i'm gonna go to that stuff later let me go backwards in time go back to the old suits see how strong they are this big old kryptonian battle suit he was able to damage it battle feet first armor by the way first real armor not the prototype it's only natural for him to get in battle feats with the eradicator Seem to be able to do some staggering type to him at least. Even does this to the Eradicator. Even somehow making him sleepy. Like literally making him dizzy. People don't find battle feats flashy, but this is pretty cool. Look how big this creep thing, this battle suit is. Kryptonian battle suit. Punches beings into a car. Punching power. See how far they go. Even was somehow able to restrain the Eradicator another battle feat with him. They had plenty of scuffles. Suit even gives him superhuman strength, even able to lift his hydraulic press off of him. He even was able to stop Cyborg Superman's world engine, disrupt the magnetic fields within the fusion reactor, grind them to a halt. His using his intelligence with his armor to figure out a way out of these situations. Even the very first suit has heat resistance, completely harmed by fire, extremely bulletproof. I was not kidding, <laughs> bulletproof. Fat his suit was able to somewhat stand up to the eradicator is evident shown dodging in combat see the agility see how he just like leaping all over the place in combat this is technically not his feet but hey they use his hammer how jordan for example used his hammer he made to ko mongo i know how jordan kind of has a lot more strength it's kind of his feet for using the hammer but the hammer did break but food for thought he has this thing known as the rivet cannon of course he has weapons that can just blast you blasting this monster in the mouth for example using the rivet cannon in this occasion nails him to the wall pins beings to the car thanks to rivet cannon i showed a little bit of this earlier shoots this at a creature's high rivet cannon and they can do this to cyborg superman's constructs rivets this very large man thanks to his cannons in his jet boots can blast them off of him <laughs> like this dude looks like the blob time to jump to the second armor looks that looks very similar knocks out some folks get out the way y'all are lightweight to me get murked making his own exit through a wall and bulletproof here obviously has enough physical strength to stop a speeding car hammer smash even knock Mattello's head off his body does this to a being that is bulletproof strong enough to break through brick walls fly through floors tears through a helicopter window brutalizes joe gardner gosh should know better bro literally pick up cars picks up processors like stopping a speeding truck with one hand holds up a collapsing ceiling catches a truck that fell off a bridge he even saves cop cars stops on the spot stops the satellite from crashing into earth let that sink in one of his most impressive feats is matching Matello in strength another cyborg type being he was able to move even after polaris polarized portions of his armor making it out like a straight jacket force of strength He's durable enough to survive a shockwave of a bomb strong enough to destroy washington dc it's got that much power and durability the suit can take flaming gas being shot at him of course this armor is still bulletproof like the other one when sharks bite them they break their own teeth trying to bite him that's not smart plenty of battle feeds and there's plasma whips not even armor piercing rounds is enough or fire it's not going to cut it this suit seems to be able to repair itself it's funny that even he's confused on why his armor's not scratched no more. You can't just shut down his armor with telekinesis. You can see here, like, his boots shut off, but then they cut back on. Yeah, I know. He got some resistance to mind stuff. Mattello even states he can morph any metal he wants to become my body, but he can't do it to Steel's armor. Steel's armor is his armor. You see what I mean? He said that's not supposed to happen. Yeah, he was in a telepathic hold, but when he summons the armor, it breaks the telepathic hold on him. Oh, yeah, I haven't even got to summoning. Yeah, he can summon the armor. It's kind of crazy, man. It's like a symbiotic relationship. It's quick enough. Battlefield dies these lasers. They even mention his speed. Dang, he's moving too fast. 
deflects constructs from Gardner. Look at that reflexes. Steel was able to fight and combat against a being that he quoted moves like greased the lightning. He was able to move somebody in the way of a light speed rush. It states here, I'll take Steel out at laser light speed. Steel knocked hard shell into my path. Showing his fighting speed. Does it again when somebody tries to hit him from behind from at light speed. It states, I was traveling at light speed. He can't have seen me, can he? And yet again got rushed at somebody that was moving at light speed. It states here, I'll bowl still over at light speed. Yet he's still able to react to him. Isn't it satisfying how he throws his hammer sometimes though? And rivets. He can even summon his hammer to his hand so he can just come to him, right? Also, strength speed here, ripping arm off. I hope you guys not getting tired of rivets. Riveting down a gun barrel. Pitting people with rivets. Shoots guns out of four armed guards' hands. Freaking blasted all the guns out of this four armed gunslinger out with rivets. Even a futuristic alien gun gets riveted. <laughs> Hits the tires of a car. Pierces a cyborg's hand with rivet. His jet boots melt a magnetic grabbler. He has tracer utilities where if he wants to track you down, when I showed you this already with them shooting the gun barrel. His transmitter blocks alarms, might I add. So he got utilities on top of his gear and rivets and flight and jet booster. No, seriously, the armor automatically summons itself to protect John. More occasions of him doing so, it like literally protects him. The armor helps in times of distress or need whether he needs it or someone else needs it. It's this big old being that's bigger than him. Like you see the size difference. <laughs> Even got teleportation. But how? He can teleport the location even if he's not sure of the location. Stay tier, not sure if the armor will get me to Hazard HQ. Don't even know where it is, but it's there. His armor even shorted out energy shackles. Just plenty of occasions of epicness. And finally, we made it to the third armor. I brought this up earlier already. You know, it sacrifices strength for speed, even though the other ones are still fast on their own right. And people blitzing them at light speed and stuff. Like hitting stuff through this large statue. Punch like punching this demon armor through a large statue, for example. And heck, the hammer was even lodged into the engine block of a car, might I add. Purposely ate this rocket launcher because he know he can. He's been hit by his own hammer, takes an attack from Superboy's clone, blasted by Supergirl this one time, blasted by Green Lantern Energy, blasted by Martian Manhunter's heat vision. Yes, Martian Manhunter has heat vision. He stated he can fly from Jersey to Metropolis in under an hour. The cool difference about this hammer is that it gets stronger the farther he throws it, like plowing through this tank. Here, Steel's new hammer maintains a unique dampening field, which increases its inertia to multiple of its inertial thrusts over its complete trajectory curve, which means the further Steel throws it, the faster it goes. Field increases the hammer's mass while affecting the stress capacity of any object contact with its field in other words steel's new hammer multiplies its own speed over the course of its own distance and can plow straight through a m1 tank hammer can stop mid-flight if he wishes and return to steel so this new hammer is pretty cool it can emit energy projection you try to grab it mid-air it will literally just sling you he hit supergirl this one time on his return scuffle with supergirl threw it through a bridge throws it through a robot knocks over martian the Manhunter, Shatter Terra's Construct, Blast Power. From a great distance, evidently the hammer can strike almost as hard as Superman's punch. Could be an exaggeration, but still puts in work, for example. I mean, look how big this being is. Let that sink in. His hammer even shifted the trajectory of a plane before. Like, let that sink in. It smashed this large machine this one time. It's even strong enough to destroy one of his steel armors. Ain't that crazy? Freaking hammer ain't no joke. But yeah, another occasion of him stopping a train his arm is really cool it absorbed energy from supergirl's containment part this one time so they can get out of here his armor can even become cloth like when unused just so he can conveniently wear it under his regular clothes now we're back to the armor i brought up earlier the shining armor it's strong enough to draw blood from beings like atlas in dc it's said to increase his strength tenfold but i do believe this is a oversimplification this shining armor I mean, this is the suit that was made alien tech and designed to be more powerful than the last. Obviously, it's strong enough to shatter chains, hit Bizarro in the battle feet hard enough to knock over freaking buildings. I mean, he even carried this large machine with Superman. Does this to this being known as Earthquake, rams him, moved his power relay this one time, helping Superman in plenty of adventures. I mean, of course it's bulletproof, which this armor had more showings though, not gonna lie, especially better showings. I mean, this is just stuff we know he can do, like smothering bombs with his body. Has an override just in case somebody tries to pilot his armor. I mean, the battlefield with Alice, he got kicked through multiple walls by Alice, so that's kind of impressive. Survives being in Superman's stomach or whatever, it's like, uh, okay, it's like a, an equivalent to a nuclear reactor here. Duh, of course he can destroy parts of buildings. Thanks to his hammer, of course, because other suits can do this too. So he has night vision and magnifying vision. You can even get the ultimate guide of how his suits work here. You can read all this and pause the video if you have to. It should be high enough quality. 
And as you can see here, get more lore on his suit and how it works, like all the functions. It's just a well-made battle suit. How can you hate? I mean, it even has spikes. He has the stuff made for Kryptonians in it. It says, my new advanced nanotechnology allows me variety. Lead particles within my armor shift and flow. They spread asunder, allowing kryptonite particles within them to see the light. I think when it comes to fighting speed, it's pretty concrete that it's at least in the light speed ranges. Because of the stuff I showed you earlier about him reacting to the being three times that was moving at light speed, even narrated on panel. Then that leads to one of his most overpowered suits, the Entropy Aegis armor. You know, the thing I talked about earlier about how it was designed by Darkseid from the remains of Imperial X Pro fused with Apocalyptean tech. It was supposed to be offered to Superman, but still ended up taking it because I'm the battle suit guy. You remember I said that earlier? With this Aegis armor, he was able to break these B-13's energy tendrils, destroy his hard light. They even talk about how he was dead, yet here I am in the armor. In the armor, you deny. They're talking about how the armor he should have got, but he denied it though. His state here still had returned with cosmic power and dark knowledge. Imperiax's essence being fueled by him is insane. Even then, he still is not able to harness enough of the Imperiax essence. But even then, he's still able to break into the core of War World with other beings as well. This final gambit. Showing that he's a helpful asset with these all these powerhouses. He's not just a liability. Showing he must be somewhere in their range with this entropy armor on. Stated here, able to counter that same force as deployed by Brainiac 13. This one time he teleported Superman. And he's literally fought other steel armors. I would think it's above the normal ones. Wouldn't you think so? Love stating the obvious. He stated his blast is powerful enough to level Metropolis. I mean, fighting all these Superman related characters, I would hope so. Being city sharing level shouldn't be nothing to people in this tier at this point. Let me add on top of the fact he's gotten slugfest with Superman himself to show that he's not lightweight in this armor. Superman can't just one shot it because it's a decent level of power though. Might I add that he one shot at Mantello. He had an override to stop Aegis armor from taking control over him. Yeah, this armor was kind of trying to take over and crap. It can negatively influence, influence his behavior. Blast back Superman here. Other test of strength grapples with Superman. That level of strength. It literally has a symbiotic relationship with him. Him and the Aegis, John and the Aegis armor. This armor doing this to Superman should not be underestimated. Especially if you remember what Superman can do, like moving planets, surviving explosions 50 times more of a star, holding black holes in his hands that was going to destroy the entire solar system, but yet he was able to grapple Superman like this in this, which is ridiculous. And finally, and then you got the Everyman project that I told you about earlier. It was a trial run basis of his exogene testing. It was Lex Luthor type of thing. Henry was indoctrinated into this project by Lex. Literally able to turn into stainless steel, grant him superhuman strength. Like he literally had powers. Like metal manipulation to where it burns to his shirt. In this state, he's strong enough to hold up a collapsing building. Just an example of his strength. And it seemed to not be too hard for him either. Protects folks from explosions. He can just eat the explosion. Of course, he's bulletproof. Duh. Punching him extremely hard through windows ain't going to cut it. Even getting hit hard enough to get sent out of a city isn't enough. Flames and a building collapsing on him, by the way. Doesn't really seem to do much. I already showed you this a second ago. Just to show you how it's just effortless to him. He can even shoot globs of burning metal at foe. Like, like on some energy projection type stuff. His metal manipulation is good enough to kill. Like normal beings like Luther, for example. Of course, this is in the famous temporary power warp thing, of course. Didn't stay like this. Really hard to get a reading on him. But I would say in his like standard suits, like the suits that I'm showing you right here in this exact picture. He's got to be in the medium powerhouse tiers. You know, I wouldn't necessarily say he's equal to the Superman tier beings. But he's not like a super feather in comparison, but I do think there's a significant gap between the two, depending on which armor he uses, like the Aegis armor, for example, it's like Apocalyptian armor, it kind of raises him to that tier, but that's not always his gear, you know what I mean? All them scuffles with Superman type people, even like Eradicator, even in normal armors, shows his level that he has to be at. He ain't going to be super soldier tier doing all this. You see what I mean? You have no choice but to respect it. It's hard to believe that a guy in the army can hang with top tiers like this. But hey, that's scientific nanotechnology for you in comics. Nanotech can do a lot in comics when it comes to battle suits. I mean, just look at Iron Man from Marvel Comics, for example. One of the strongest beings in the powerhouse tier thanks to his armors. You know what I'm saying? So, it's not nothing new for fiction to do battle suits this much justice. Even though we never seen him do nothing flashy like drag a planet or bust a planet or something. But, I mean, you tangling with Superman type people in higher armors. He's even stronger than he ever was. Like this one, for example, what else can you deny? In more recent comics, for example, even the New 52 has his moments of temporary power-ups. In this run, he was covered in organic steel, protecting him from otherworldly infections. Talk about coming in handy. It states here, organic steel will keep the cellular degeneration at bay until I figure it out. 
temporary type of thing looking like silver surfer ha he can even use this organic steel to adjust his heart rate dial back my emotions stuff like that he's endured blows from cyborg superman even though they did imply that he wouldn't be able to take a lot of blows like that blasted him back here at least showing his level of power in recent stuff one could say he can do like some power distributing like in this occasion with lana he was able to share his steel because you see as it states here life support critical total systems failure imminent he states my skin can protect you until we get back to earth like shielding her with metal coating to add her durability to keep her safe on the travels back. Oh yeah, and by the way, he's engaged Delana Lang in DC. There's more showings because he has some decent amount of appearances in Rebirth, but it's a lot of the same type of feats, you know what I mean? Being able to coat people in metal is awesome though. But what do you guys think? Do you guys respect Steel? How do you like his battle suit? What's your favorite battle suit throughout this video for him? I'm interested to hear your thoughts, but I'll see you guys later. Respect Steel.